So today we're going to be seeing what kind of abilities our Raspberry Pi has if we put it in the media center and we want to stream and transcode videos. So welcome to Technodad Life and I'm Jeff and so today we're going to be using this Raspberry Pi and uh, I like this case in particular if you haven't seen this case before because it's the whole top of the case is a heatsink, but it also has a fan which is very important for transcoding because your uh, Raspberry Pi will get hot. Now to do this today we're going to be using Jellyfin to stream and transcode our videos. The uh, same setup will also work for Plex and MB. So today we're going to be using the Linux server Jellyfin container. Here is the Docker Compose image and we're going to be changing a few things. So we have to eliminate the second volume and second ports. We're going to delete everything down here except for this one line. And so this is what our Docker Compose file is going to look like. And I'll leave a copy of this in the comments down below if you want to use this. For our movie, we're going to be using Big Buck Bunny, which is a Creative Commons movie. And so this is from the Blender Foundation, and it's a free to duplicate and reuse movie. So next what we're going to be doing is I have installed... So I've installed Jellyfin on six devices, and I'm going to have a window up in my computer. And what we're going to do is first see how many devices we can straight stream from Jellyfin on the Raspberry Pi. And then next we're going to try transcoding and see how many different devices we can transcode to with the Raspberry Pi. And so let's take a look at what we have here. So we have Jellyfin over here on your right or left hand side. I have Raspberry Pi monitor here, and why we want that is because we're going to be using that to monitor our temperature. And down below here we have top running, and so this will tell us, and so this is going to tell us the percentage of the CPU that's being used. And down below here we have our devices. We have three iPads, three phones, and we're also going to be using our computer for one. So let's start everything up and just see how many movies we can stream without transcoding. Okay, so let's start these up. There's one, two, three, uh, there's five, and there's six. And so what tends to happen is every time we add a device, it gets a little slower in there. So what we're going to do is add in one more, and we're going to add in a screen, or actually, let me just show you what's happening first. So in Jellyfin, if we click on the little man symbol there, go to Dashboard, and we scroll down, and we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six playing now. Our temperature has gone up from 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. And now our CPU usage is at about 60, 55, 60 percent. We add in a seventh instance of Big Buck Bunny, and you can see our CPU usage goes up to 80 percent. Uh, our CPU temperature doesn't seem to be changing too much. And then after a few minutes, our Big Buck Bunny is starting on our computer, but as you can see, it's glitching here. So the maximum amount of devices you can have running at one time is six. And if you add that seventh device in, then it tends to cause errors in the other devices, and the seventh one just doesn't work very well. And our CPU usage is going way up, and now it's sort of stabilized at 76%. And our CPU temperature is stabilized at about 55 degrees Celsius, which I think is about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so now let's try transcoding a video. And so right now we have the six devices running all at auto, which is 1080p. 
So we're going to switch one device to 720p and let's see what happens. So we're going to switch this to 720p, 3 megabits per second. And we're going to actually stop one of these other ones and use to see how long it takes to transcode. So here we're going to press the button, so 720p, 3 megabits per second, and start. And so, so far not much is happening. Let's take a look at our computer, see what's going on there. So it says it's transcoding that movie, but it hasn't shown up. The CPU's at 60%. Our temperature is staying steady around 55, 56 degrees. Now, normally when I did the testing for this, it would have done it by now. So let's just say with six devices running, it doesn't have a very good transcoding time. Uh, we're already at two minutes and nothing has happened. So let's reset this. So if we go back to Jellyfin, so I've turned everything off. So now we just have our browser that we're in again. Temperature has gone down to 51 and CPU usage is about 1% right now. So let's try transcoding with just one device and no other devices turned on. So we have our movie up and it's 1080p H.264. And what we're going to do is plus to get it to transcode is 720p. We actually have to start it for a second. We're going to hit the icon again, change auto to 720p. We have our timer set again, and so let's start. And it took about a minute for it to start transcoding that. If we go back to our desktop, we can see there it's transcoding. 3 megabits per second. CPU usage is about 50% and our temperature has gone up to 56 degrees. So now in my testing, so that time it took uh, about a minute and so the three other times I tried this, the first time was 47 seconds, second time 2 minute and 58 seconds, and the third time 1 minute and 25 seconds. And so I think it depends on uh, if the Raspberry Pi is rock solid cold to start out with, it will transcode faster, but then as it heats up, uh, let's just say transcoding slows down. Big Buck Bunny is only 10 minutes long. I haven't tried uh, running, a, try transcoding a movie that's say two hours long to see if it can actually do it the whole time. But my guess is it will probably just start to have problems so let's try transcoding with just one device and no other devices turned on. This at 720p3, just like the uh, iPad is. We're going to press Start. Now if we look at our desktop, you can see immediately our CPU usage went up to 74, 70, 75. And our temperature went up by 4 degrees almost immediately. If we look back into Jellyfin for monitoring, we can see it's transcoding that. Nothing though is happening on the screen here. Oh, there we have something, some life. Our temperature is up to 60 and our CPU usage is 73. So I'm going to stop this right here because not only has this not transcoded, but this one you can see it has also stopped. So I would say trying to transcode 1080p to 2720p uh, streams is a fail. So you can only do one. So let's try to see if we can do... Oh, and as soon as I said that, they started playing. So uh, it took about three minutes for those to get started. So if you're willing to wait three minutes, you can have two 720p streams transcoding. Now let's see if we can add a third one in and see how long that takes. Okay, so we're going to put this on 723, click Start. If we go to our desktop, we can see now we have three, it still says direct playing here. So CPU usage, 78. Temperature up to 62. 
And actually, we just got an error screen there. So I'm going to count that one as a fail. So let's see how many we can do at 480p. And so we should be able to do two no problem. Let's see if we can do three. OK, so I've reset these two devices. So they are on auto now. This one is at 480p. If we look at the desktop, it's transcoding now. And then these two are direct playing. So let's try. So let's try to see how many streams of 480p we can get going and how long it takes. So we're going to reset this one to 480p, one megapixel. So let's go. Now, if we look at CPU usage, we're almost we're at 86 to 89 degrees and temperatures up to 61. So it took about a minute and 53 seconds to do it. So now we have two going. Our CPU is at 87%, our temperature is at 61 degrees. And over here you can see we have two transcoding. So let's see if we can transcode a third one to 480p. So there is 480p, one megapixel, ready, set, go. Now if we take a look at our desktop again, CPU usage is over 90. and CPU temperature 63, so it's going up again. And it hasn't even shown that it's uh, transcoding yet. Now all three are frozen. Oh, that one started going again. And this one has stopped, though. This one's right at the end of the movie. We're still waiting on our third one to go. So after three minutes, uh, basically we only have one movie running, even at 480p. So I'm going to say that, oh, now the second one started again. Uh, I'm going to say that the maximum amount of videos you can transcode, either 720 or 480, is 2. If we look at our CPU temperature, it's gone up to 63. CPU is at 82. Oh, it just went down because one movie just stopped. And you can see we're stopped transcoding this movie here. So if your needs are very limited for your media center, then yes, a Raspberry Pi can be used to stream to your devices as long as you don't transcode. So the maximum transcoding for a Raspberry Pi that is reliable is just one stream. Uh, once you get into two streams, you can do it, but it just takes a very long time, and then you might have some freezing. Three streams is impossible. Uh, so the Raspberry Pi is not a very good choice for streaming, unless you're just doing uh, auto where it does no streaming at all. Uh, what I would suggest is something like a Nook, or like I just got one of these recently. So this is a Nook-like device which uh, has QuickSync in it. So with QuickSync, you can transcode videos much better. And this particular version, I got it for a couple different reasons. It has two Ethernet ports. Uh, and it has like three different ways you can add hard drives. Uh, but the other, the main reason I got it is because it has QuickSync. Uh, so it has the Intel 600 chipset. So then it can transcode 4K movies also. And so I'll be uh, talking more about this in a future video. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.